Hello and welcome guys to this interesting session of ASP.NET Core Windows Form application. Yes, you heard it right. Windows Form application. I long month back I created a few sessions on .NET Core Windows Form. And this is one more session adding to that particular series. Why? Actually, I got a comment on one of my video which is .NET Core Windows Form Part 1 and that commented Pawan Singh by Tule. Okay, he written in Hindi. What he means actually, he by default mistakenly he created a .NET Core form application, but he was he unable to use any kind of report like RDLC or SSRS or Crystal report. These report required server side. This report RDLC, SSRS, Crystal report. I have been work from last eleven years, and these reports are good for enterprise big level application. But what if I am creating a small Windows application and I need a report like this? This is a HTML file. You can say invoice.html. I downloaded this one. It is in my download. I will use that one actually. So you can see here invoice number, invoice date, due date, the billing to and shipping to, and the items are there. Okay. I am going to create same kind of report in Windows form. And but I am not going to use in database. Guys, you will take care of database. So, Pawan Singh, why? Ye aap ke liye hai. Ek baar dekh lena. Ye last ten years se main use kar raha hu in Windows application, small application. I hope it will help you. Let's start. Okay, I will open a Visual Studio new project. Okay, we are going to use Web View. What is Web View? Web View. It's a Microsoft tool. In our standard ASP.NET, which is 4.5, 4.7, and 4.7.2, we have browser controller. But here we don't have browser controller. So, so I'm giving the name as Winform report. After completion, I will give this source code in the Google Drive. Okay. Next, and it is 6.0.NET Core system create. Okay, it will take few seconds to create. So, okay, what I was telling, okay, this is in our standard .NET version, we have brow web browser, but in case of .NET Core, we don't have web browser. So, what Visual Studio or .NET Core did, they have web view. We need to add this web view from the new get. So, wait for a few seconds, let it run or load. So, our home is got run. Now, I will add a button just to mimic the let's say i'm now doing a submit and print i will give the name as submit submit at print okay this submit and print will open a new window which will be my report window guys this is tricky please be concentrated so i will be adding a form and the form name i will be giving a let's say rpt invoice okay and this form will be like this and there is no maximize box and no minimize box okay now here i need a web view to do this go to your tool new get package manage new get package for solutions go to browse here i can search for web view so this is web view 2 select this click on install it will take few seconds to install okay it got installed now save now go to our screen the design screen particular we have create we have just design let open again so okay this is our rpt invoice okay now go to toolbox you can see web view i just drag and drop in the middle and go to the properties here i will make dock edge fill it will fill completely to check the web view let's say i am going to google.com and i can copy and in the web view go to properties uh, there is a source called source source okay now we have our form to check the web view is working or not submit and print here i am directly 
link rpt invoice obj equal to new rpt invoice obj dot so right now run the application so our application got run click on submit and print upon our window with google right simple html now stop it so our html is working now move to our this invoice.html which is this this page actually copy this one to our folder for now i am keeping in the root and go to the property section of that particular file copy to output directory copy always right in the report designing that particular form here in the page load itself i am writing one method private void load report so here we view 21 dot So what I will do, I will declare like string content equal to file dot read text. It will be invoice.html, the particular same index. It will read the string data. Okay, it will require async to await dot. We need to use this one web view dot ensure core view to async. Now copy this one, call in page load or form load. We will see our this report in our windows form guys it will be next we will go into print also how we can do check it so submit for a few seconds yeah it's loading now how can how we can do print go to our invoice.html page in the document body section write on load window dot print now run it guys okay, after this i will going to show how we can put dynamic data we will check now so here in the in the inverse html what i did I added window.print in the body on load. Let's open the file and double click and see if it is opening the print window or not. Yeah, it's opening the print window, right? Now our task is to make it dynamic. How we can do make it dynamic? In this part, actually, I'm going to give like this, a, some kind of keyword, invoice number or INB number or INB date like this. Okay, let me pause this video and let me replace this dynamic text. So what I did here, here, what I did actually, I added my dynamic value as an INT part of double at the rate. So if I go to now this particular page or I, if I run this page from here, so you can see this will come like this. Okay. So I have replaced this one and you can see in the particular item row. Okay. Here. There is TRTD. Okay, this TRTD I'm going to build manually in dynamically in a for loop and going to show. If I now run this application without any dynamic data, so it will just give me a HTML form with a print. So, Pavan Singh, you can print your report, right? Now, now the task is to get the dynamic record. To do this, stop the application from running. Go to our in this part. I I will replace everything. How? File data same string equal to file data dot replace my identifier and my dynamic value. This value can you can pull from database. Now identify inverse date and this one current date due date. I am adding one month. Bill to name Biswa. Okay, I will put. Okay, bill to name, bill address, amount I have given, payment method which is this one. Okay, cash I have given, amount I have given. Now run the application and we will see the magic.
so our application got run click on submit and print yes it's now printing we can directly print to pdf let's see it's printing to pdf or not i will move to desktop okay in desktop i will give print report save so you can see dynamic data also added here item also added because i give him a for loop of two five and give him this item like this so item number one and it is adding into the ie into 50 right so in this way we can generate a html or a fine html report you can design your own html okay i did save to my desktop let's see how it is working go to desktop okay print report dot pdf yes our pdf report also coming right in this way you can implement your own html report inside your asp.net core windows form application guys i'm doing this kind of from last 10 years and i hope it will be a game changer for you and if you like this session give me a like and share this video with your friends thank you very much